key interest really is working across disciplines. Uh, it's quite a few things I work on. Um, a lot has to do with uh, grazing animals and how they impact in uh, ecosystems, uh, both in terms of physical sense and how they influence uh, livelihoods of people. Just an ex as an example, uh, I do a lot of work in the Arctic. This is uh, a picture of the circumpolar Arctic. Uh, you can see in the center uh, the North Pole. And a lot of work we do here is in Svalbard, Group of Island Ecosystems, where we try to look at the role of geese and uh, reindeer uh, in, uh, on the wide range of um, ecosystem components in that uh, place. So one of the things we're looking at is carbon sequestration. Uh, it's uh, seen as, as very important. My Arctic systems uh, sequester a fair amount of carbon and uh, it seems that herbivores like reindeer and, and geese disturb that uh, ability for the tundra to sequester carbon. We also look at these things in other places. Um, uh, herbivory or grazing animals uh, play uh, a large role in people's lives also for instance in Scotland where we look at uh, how red deer influence livelihoods of people. Uh, often it stirs up, uh, it, often it stirs up conflict uh, between uh, people, hunters having a certain mentality as to how they would like to see the, um, the red deer for instance managed, uh, whereas conservationists might uh, be at odds with that. And we try to uh, provide information on these kind of debates, which hopefully get people closer together. Another area I have great interest in uh, is uh, the role of the invasive plant species in uh, our ecosystems uh, on the planet. And um, I view it's very helpful to look at some specific species which um, have certain traits and, and help us to come to terms uh, with questions like why suddenly, uh, why, why suddenly species uh, turn invasive. So currently we work on a project where we look at tree mallow, which is an invasive species in some places of the UK and totally non-invasive in the others. And uh, we try to work out how that is possible. So what are the ingredients which turn species in, in, into an invasive plant species and causing a lot of mayhem. Uh, this species in particular has impacts on puffins. Puffins are strongly linked to the livelihoods of coastal communities because they're bringing a lot of tourists. So we try to help these places to um, get their heads around why these things happen and um, through community action try to do something about it. So these are kind of examples of projects I work on and just look at my website if you have interest in other types of work I do.